Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of Now in Android, number 90, which highlights a new Android brand, art updates, Dagger and Hilt KSP, Jetpack Compose, documentation updates, and more. Android is updating its visual identity that better represents our Android community and reflects Android's core ethos of being open, iterative, and inclusive. The Android robot became a prominent feature of our logo, and now we are giving Backdroid an entirely new 3D look. We wanted the Backdroid to appear as dynamic as Android itself. Take a look at the new designs in the blog post. You'll start seeing the new aspects of the brand identity appear on Android devices and more places starting this year. Thanks to Art Google Play system updates, hundreds of millions of devices received the latest performance improvements, security fixes, and open JDK APIs. In the new blog post, you can learn how we modularized Android to allow Art to update independently. In the coming months, we'll be releasing Art 14 to all compatible devices. Art 14 includes OpenJDK 17 support, along with new compiler and runtime optimizations that improve performance while reducing code size. The latest release of Dagger and Hilt version 2.48 includes the alpha release of their KSP processors. Instructions for using them can be found in the Dagger KSP guide. This release contributes to getting rid of capped in your grid of builds and making them faster. There are some breaking changes you should be aware of, so check out the 2.48 release notes for more information. Now, let's talk about articles and documentation updates. Ben Trengrove gave an update on Jetpack Compose accompanied libraries. Some libraries will be deprecated with no replacement, for example, pager indicators and web view. Drawwall Painter and Permissions are considered feature complete, and Adaptive, Test Harness and Navigation Material continue to be experimental. We updated the modularization guidance to include more common patterns such as test modules and dependency inversion. With dependency inversion, your modules depend on abstraction modules instead of concrete implementations. Read the guide to learn more about these topics. Whether your source code is written in Java, Kotlin, or both, there are several places you must choose a JDK or Java language version for your build. The new Java versions in Android Builds guide helps you identify which JDK is which, how to choose the right one in different scenarios, and which Java language features you can use in your project. If you want to get started with animations in Compose, we created a new guide with a list of common animation use cases and the right API to use in each scenario. Also, we improved the previous animations in Compose diagram with an easier API decision tree. Lastly, the Now in Android open source app is now using screenshot tests to verify the visual appearance of certain Compose screens and components. Screenshot tests can automatically verify combinations of attributes that make sense, such as different app states, screen sizes, locales, or themes. In the blog post, you can find links to some example PRs that they implemented. And that's it for this time. You can find all the links to the content I mentioned in the Now in Android episode 90 blog post on Medium. To get notified about future episodes, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Android Developers YouTube channel. Bye!